person. Woo it's a special edition, special episode, <laughs> because it's her birthday. Woo! It's Emily's birthday, and we are celebrating. And we finally get to maybe we, we're we're kind of far apart. We're like literally kind of like this a little bit. Yeah, we're not spitting in each other's face. We're not spitting in each other's face, but we've also like been yeah together. We, so yeah, we've actually had like some some. Uh, like par out, outdoor party, party situations. Yeah. Just the two of us. Yeah, just us. We yeah. gotta talk, you know, in person. We gotta have our connection. And and since it's my birthday. And we are celebrating, so cheers. I'm having wine right now. I am having tequila and fresca again. What is this piece of ice? It's like a sphere of goodness. I know, so Matthew and I got these ice molds um, years ago because we were like really into making fancy yeah. cocktails and um so now we have them and we use them and i love them and um i plan to use them for all of our uh cocktails i love it cheers happy birthday with matthew as my bartender of yeah. course i know matt's been making my cocktails a couple of times but this is going to be a really fun episode because we are together and we've already had a shot of tequila I mean, we had to have a Mimi, right? Oh yeah, of course. So tell everybody what a Mimi is. A Mimi is a shot of tequila with an orange slice dipped in cinnamon, and it's one of our friend's signature drinks, and her birthday is actually tomorrow, the day after mine. Yes. And so we've done those for years. Yeah. And they're, and they're really better than the lime and salt. I like them better than the lime and salt. Oh you? yeah, they're so good. And my husband's waiting in the wings to bring us cupcakes. Ah! Nice. Happy birthday! Oh, I'm not gonna see. This is my Matthew. <laughs> Hi! Amy has a different Matthew. Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh, that's so fun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm really not gonna sing because I don't really want to hear myself sing. I don't want anybody to sing, but, but I'm, gonna... I'm gonna say happy birthday and some blue. Happy yeah. birthday, Emily. Woo! Oh my god, you have asthma. <laughs> Did you ever hear that commercial when you're like a kid and there'll be a commercial and it's like, if you hold a flame out like this, if you can't blow it out, you have asthma. You or, may have or asthma. Or you've had a few shots of tequila. Whatever. <laughs> but Yay! Oh my god, these look delicious. Okay, for, you've got cheers. red velvet, because Matthew heard you say you like red velvet, yes. and I've got Italian cream cake, which is one of my favorites, and we had it at our wedding. Where is this from? These are from Blue Cake. <gasps> oh, I love Blue Cake. So how are you doing right now <laughs> with, the, with what's happening in Little Rock? Because we're opening things, but not really. There's lots of rules and restrictions. Um, what are your thoughts on going back in the office? You know, I'm not quite ready to go back in the office because there's just, um, I've just gotten so comfortable working from home. I yeah. feel super productive. I'm also like hardcore introvert. <laughs> nothing, uh, you know, variable about that. Like I'm a super introvert. And so it, it makes me comfortable working from home behind the computer screen. I'm good being on camera, yeah. you know, like I'm, I'm fine with all of that. Yeah. And so I'm not really ready to go back in the office. And, and I think it would be fine based on our office environment yeah. because we're far enough apart and everything, but I'm just not ready to, and and I I'm comfortable wearing a mask. You what's know? The, where's the office? Like, what's it called? Okay, so I <laughs> so one of my jobs yeah. is at Cranford Co., which is an agency here in Little Rock, and um, so I work part time there. But I I spend typically I spend full time there because they let me office there and do yeah. some of my freelance work. And I do feel like I've been in her office, and it is very distance i mean i do feel like you all would be fine yeah but it's the getting there yeah and the people that you're gonna see and yeah i mean it's just it's just an additional layer of exposure that's not necessary i mean because we can do our work yeah. remotely so why risk it but i do feel like if you were in I mean, you all have your each of you have your office but if somebody was to come in your office with you it might be too much right so it's like Right, and it's, maybe you can hold. It is glass. They have glass partitions, right? Yeah, like, like you can hold a just sign. Like stay through the glass. Yeah, or like use your phones as walkie-talkies. That'd be kind of funny. That would be funny. So, <laughs> what about you though? Like, you've seen people coming back into the salon. Yeah, so people have been coming in the salon, and we're doing everything that we're supposed to do. Um, the I finally am. 
I've got the mask that is working for me. And oh, my, good. Yeah, so my friend Joseph yeah. is making masks. And the best thing for me has been the ties mm -hmm. that have two ties. Because the first week, um, I was like bruised behind the ear. And I felt like kind of like all my ear, my ears were just, all my ears. My ears were just sticking out like this all times. And it was just like rubbing. It would just hurt. And the material, like I bought all these cute masks and they were great. But um, there's the, some of the cute masks are too thick. And like for all day, 11 hour days, you yeah. cannot breathe. So Joseph is actually making these masks that have like the metal. So you can make it form for your nose. And I can wear my glasses with them, mm -hmm. which before they were fogging up. So yeah. there's all these different elements of like what's working and what's not. Um, so the tie of my... I've made kind of like, okay, I'm going to put a ponytail or a high or a half up ponytail and I'll tie the top part to my ponytail and then tie the back. And that has been breathable. Mm -hmm. It's been great. And that has worked. And actually Joseph um, brought some to the salon and in, in little bags and has his how to pay him. It has nothing to do with the salon and you could pay him Venmo or whatever. Um, and that's been great. And people actually have been buying them. I was going to say, I need to know that because yeah. I totally buy some. I he, love Joseph's work. Yes. And I know it's quality. And that's great. Like, I bought some some hand-sewn masks yeah. from um, a woman who teaches at Zen Studio, who's been my spin instructor for years. Mm -hmm. And she's doing some hand-sewn masks. Yeah. And they also tie. And, yeah. like, she experimented with the pattern and everything. Mm -hmm. So, it fits really yeah. well and comfortably. And then it does the hand ties. And so I love those. So yeah. I'm, I'm all like, I think we're all just kind of figuring yeah, out. Yeah, you just have to figure it out. What works best yeah. for your face, well, for and, your comfort and level. It's so cetera. nice. Like Joseph is being so good about, I think he started making them for healthcare workers. And, mm -hmm. and he's making some for friends. And now he's like maybe selling some. But I think whenever he does... He sells one. He's also making and donating, kind of like Tom's, you know, like yeah. donating one to buy one, else. give one. Yeah. So they're fifteen dollars, and you can get them like at the deal. salon. I know. And you know, he's struggling. He's just like an upholsterer, and like all of us, he's an artist. Yeah. So yeah. supporting. So if you need any, let me know. Um, I can get you contact with him, and and they're great. I mean, I have to say for especially for my industry and having to work in them all day, they've been it's been a live and learn like thing. I need to reach out to Joseph because like if he wants to put them online, I could help him. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's it may be hard to keep up because there's yeah. like I, mean, I don't everybody's know how long selling it takes. out so fast. I know. Well, and that's something that is interesting to me because when you go into right now, like everybody is masking, okay? Mm -hmm. Like all of a sudden on Instagram, every store has a mask. And yeah. you're like, oh my God, that's so cute. Or you go into the store, oh my God, it's so cute. You can get this. But really until you work in it or you wear don't it, you don't know. Good. Yeah. And I mean, to me, I've had people approach about branding some and, mm -hmm. and putting it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not sure. There's so many out there right now that I don't know if I... You want to make sure you're doing the right thing. And yeah. you know, like, Joseph's are tried and true yeah. at this point. And I don't want to just put my, my logo on something and, mm -hmm. and just, like, pass them out just to have my logo on it. I mean, no offense. If you want to do that, it's great. But I'm just saying, like, for me, all I care about is if it's effective. Right. And I mean, I, the only thing about the tie that I don't like, and I'm sorry, Joseph, I'm going to say that because I, I do feel like I can't wear my hair down completely. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like gives you like this little hat head thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then I'm really sad because I can't wear my red lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> or earrings, probably. I did. Oh, so I had these on today and I had to take them off because they were getting like caught in the hoops. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, I think the biggest thing that's bothering me is just not putting lipstick on. <laughs> because it's, it's like I could, you would think I would be able to put the lipstick on under it, but it's no, all over your face. Your <laughs> picture, the first time you had to wear a mask, you sent a picture <laughs> yeah. out to our friend group where like it showed the lipstick all over your face oh, yeah. and then all over the mask. And I was <laughs> laughing so hard. I was like, bless her heart. Like the one thing... She wants to be able to do every day. And I mean, it's like it makes completely... me feel pretty. I love lipstick. <laughs> I love red lipstick so much. 
And for it to like trap, and you can literally on a mask feel, feel it like, <laughs> kind of like when it start. I mean, this is gross. Like I hate this word, moist. But <laughs> when you're mat, when you're wearing it all day, your mask gets moist. I'm just gonna tell you. It starts getting a little moist, and then you're like, okay, okay I'm pretty sure my lipstick's like <laughs> on my face. <laughs> okay, I, can I? This might be a little up close and personal, but I will tell you, Emily. And I don't know if you've ever told you this secret before, but when I was in high school, I still wore a lot of lipstick. I'm just gonna tell you, it's just been my thing. I've always done it, and I'm kind of known for my superpower of it not coming off because mm -hmm. I don't lick my lips. I know that's really weird, but. <laughs> If I made out with a guy, you knew it. I've heard the story. Because <laughs> I swear to God, like, and not even, like, paying attention, but all of a sudden, like, like, you walk out of, like, making out, and, like, <laughs> he would have, like, lipstick all over, and then my lips would be gone, like, oh, damn. No, I've heard you tell that story before. <laughs> and my Palm Bluff girlfriends would know that this is so true. <laughs> Because I do, I do like some lipstick. I mean, times are changing. Yeah. We got to make some adjustments. I don't know what kind of adjustments I can do, though. Like, I mean. Maybe you need, I mean, like, I did put a the, red lip on your um, mask. Well, I thought of that. But I think that's really weird when you're talking. Because. Yeah. <laughs> because when. It's really hard to talk. Because you don't realize how much. And I've thought about this with deaf. Like, people that are hard of hearing. And. And. Mm -hmm. and because you do, in our industry, there's so much noise. And when the hair dryer is going, there's so much that you do read a lot of lips. And so... So someone made masks for the deaf that have like a clear panel. I know, but is it plastic? I don't know. I don't know any of the details. Of I it. thought of that because I think I saw that on Instagram mm -hmm. or something, which is genius. And it, before I had to wear a mask, I was like, this is great. But it, if it's like a shower curtain plastic... Fuck no. Sorry. <laughs> no. I mean. I mean, it's got to have holes or something. There needs to be some, Because there's yeah, no breathing. Yeah, but then you can't have holes because yeah. that's like the whole point of the mask. Like, it need. but I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Like, there needs to be something. There's not, like, there's a, there's not a, I don't feel like there's a, and I might be wrong, There, if there's a breathable fabric that would be clear. Well, and so the plastic shield, you can't wear that instead of the mask. No, it's only I in wish. Addition. That would be it. If the if the mat I mean if the shield was only the shield it would be amazing. I we the first day we worked we had um, the shield we were like oh my god someone gave us shields and it was awesome and I felt very protected and then we had our mask that we thought and I will I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the Arkansas Times thing. Because I was very excited for Arkansas Times to come and take pictures. Because you were following all the I was, rules. I mean, yeah. everything was done, and we were so excited, and they were going to come take pictures, and um, we had the sh we were this is the first day. We we're like we're going to be very. I said so the shield. So the the issue, and it's the conversation that we have like every day. It's like the mask can fall down, especially the ones behind the ears, and if they stretch out, they can fall down past your nose. And so, therefore, you've got your gloves on, you got color in your hands. Right. Do you lift the thing up and and and, and risk the um, like contamination. contamination, or leave it until you have clean hands? Clean hands. Like it's a doctor's office, right? Like I'm in for surgery. Anyway, so the guy at the um, Times like took the picture, posted on their Instagram. And um, my mask had fallen to here. I had the shield on, but my mask was on, and I guess my nose. And it, honestly, and this is literally the first day, the you first were. freaking day. And the shield, I mean, I was so covered. And I mean, I had the cape on, my gloves, I mean, everything. Also, the salon was super clean. Oh, yeah, it was so fucking clean. Sorry. This it, FYI, side note, we might be cussing a little bit. A lot. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, and the thing is they posted, it wasn't like the front page or anything, but it's on their Instagram and there were haters and I did not read them, but just one of the girls that works there said, you might, you're not going to want to read this because they were like, her nose isn't covered and whatever, whatever. And I'm like, you know what? Until you, you probably, do it. Until you're working in it, you can't judge. I mean, you really can't because I'm telling you, I... It's, it's hard to understand, like, you really have to, like, think of the, all the little things 
because for people that come in with gloves, and I'm sure you've seen on, on, on YouTube how they've had the nur like nurses that'll like give an example of like when you're wearing gloves, how it like how con contaminated. Yeah. The, I've, there's one nurse online that like uses paint as an example. It's like if you're wearing these gloves and she talks about how you're touching this, you're touching this, and by the end of the video, it's all over her face and that shows you where the contamination has hit. And it's amazing to make you realize, oh my gosh, okay. First of all, don't reuse gloves your gloves. Gloves are that, like, yeah. that protective. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when I don't think people are... You, in the sense that the yes. way they're... In the sense of the way they're using Especially them. grocery store stuff, right. I feel like, you know. Um, so, I am kind of anti-glove in, in that aspect. And as far as, like, with the... I'm personally anti-glove because I think it's better to sanitize wash versus putting on new gloves because mm -hmm. of that reason yeah i mean don't you agree? i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. you should totally try to find the nurse video because no i i agree no i totally agree because like the the gloves get you give you this like false sense yes. of protection and so you do all the things you would normally do wearing gloves. But you're touching everything that's But you're touching everything. And then you take the gloves off and then you touch those things again and think yeah. that it's okay because you touched them with the gloves, but it's not because now you yeah. just like contaminated everything. So it's more about like cleanliness yeah. of your hands yeah. themselves. And I mean, we have hand sanitizer everywhere. Um, and we just wash our hands all the time anyway and then you're adding to that and then you're cleaning i mean it's just it's hard so i mean i'm just going to tell you on my end you don't have to get your hair done by me but if anybody that is doing your hair and they're following these guidelines give them a pat on the back because it's hard i mean they're working harder than ever well and all of our retailers are doing yeah the all the retailers thing. like you know, whether they choose to wear masks or not, they're trying to do the best yeah. for you, whether they're offering curbside service or delivery or online so, ordering or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Like, they're trying to offer the options yeah. for you that make you feel the safest. So, so like, take them up on that. Yeah. And, okay, so I went into a store for the very first time in, like, nine weeks. I went to Box Turtle, which... You know, it's one of my personal faves in Little Rock. Yes. Mm -hmm. We love Box Turtle. Um, and I didn't realize at the time that they were closing at four, and, that, and that's fine, but I, I mean, for fuck's sake, sorry. Stop apologizing for cussing. I'm sorry. We're, I love the F-bomb. We fucking cuss. Yeah. So, they were sweet. I mean, I love them to death, and so we kind of talked a little bit, and... Um, it was kind of nice to know, I mean, it's good to just like talk to your fellow people, you know, and like know what's going on. But I walked in and I was like the last person there and, and, and they were about to close, but I was like, oh my God, it feels so good to be in a store. Like, I just want like, I just wanted to be in the store so bad, but, and they're wearing their mask and I, you know, I had my mask on when I went in because I knew that they're, right, but that was their policy. Yes. Yeah. And it's, um. And I guess I, we got to talking about how, like, it's not, like, you don't have to wear a mask. It's, like, like a law to wear a mask, so some people are not. But their space is an old house. It's, like, a really big old house in a historic area of Little Rock. And so they have an amazing, like, antique table in the middle. So where you're in it, so if you think about a house, like an old house, there's rooms. So it's, so it's not, like, a big open store. So everything is mm -hmm. kind of close quarters. So every person will be, um, th and it's respectful to wear a mask. I mean, I'm not saying you have to, but I'm just saying like when you're asked to wear a mask, like do. Um, it's I mean, not that big a deal. I know, and well, what I'm getting at, and then you don't have to, but I'm just saying I was trying to explain to them I'm like maybe you should explain to somebody if they come in without a mask. Maybe you should say like. I want to let you know and remind you that we have small spaces so you're not dis socially distancing and a mask would be appreciated. And maybe they would get it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I think there's just some people out there that are not getting it. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people. And assholes yeah. that don't want to do it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, nobody wants to do that. I mean, nobody wants to wear no, a mask. None of us want to. And it's, it's, 
yeah it just sucks and yeah. it's weird and then you're like well am i a weirdo for wearing it or am i a weirdo for not wearing it like am i going to be judged one way or the other and it's like just do you yeah you know like yeah. do what you think is the right thing yeah. and what makes you comfortable and if that's not wearing a mask okay i love the little somebody told me about like a meme and i'm sure everybody's seen this but it's the when um it's like a little p and thing <laughs> so like hey if this guy's naked and he's peeing on you and you have no clothes on <laughs> matthew it's Jamie. all over you yeah if you if he's peeing and you have clothes on, it's half effective. But if he pees and has clothes on and you have clothes on, you won't get it on you. I know. Matthew, I love it. I was like, that's genius. <laughs> Matthew showed me that same thing oh. and he was like... I mean, hello. Yeah. Uh, um, somebody told me, I'm totally going off, but I'm kind of, it's kind of in the same thing about advice to young people. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's like, just co topics of conversation this week um, have been interesting and awesome i mean i love it but this was something that i was like i have to sh remember this and share it because i was talking about giving advice to people that are younger than you and you're like okay we've lived it we've we've we may not have done everything but like we might know and it kind of goes into that like take your mother's advice your mother was always right right thing. right i mean right mm -hmm. i mean so this is i can't remember yeah. I, know, I know i can't remember because i was telling somebody about how i have given some employees like a, a anybody like younger like in, early 20s like You're anybody really good at that though well well i mean i'm you try because you've lived it, you've lived yeah, it. yeah but you i'm know. not done everything but you can like yeah. help guide okay and then somebody i can't remember my name deborah i'm not sure but somebody said something about and it made so much sense and they were like it's think of it as a landmine and if you give um advice and if you use it, if you use the advice given, you won't hit the landmines. I might be saying this wrong. It sounds right. But I mean, like, if you don't use the advice, then you just, like... You've got a risk. It's a risk. Blow up. You might or you might not. I know. Yeah. I mean, but I was, like, thinking of it, like, well, that's interesting. No, that's a, that's great. Like, it's like, if you give the advice, you know you won't hit the landmines. Yeah. Like, you know where yeah. they are. If you don't take the advice, yeah, you're you're gonna blow. You're up. like you could yeah. or you could not. Like it's kind of risky. Yeah, like you could die, or you could move forward. Yeah. I mean, I, it, it, I may not be exactly saying it right, but it was. But it, makes but it made so much sense. Yeah, because you you can give advice. I mean, especially when it's easy to give advice on relationships when it's not your relationship. Yeah, you know. Uh, what I mean? Yeah, it's it is. I mean. I've been there on those when you don't see it or you're like think that per that person's the best person in the world and you're like, uh, yeah, oh, I mean, like you've got like a distance and you can totally see yeah 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 and so it's always not I mean you have have to be careful not to be like you should do this yeah you should yeah. you or you need to do this yeah because that's a surefire way to make sure they don't do that yeah oh my god I'm so glad I don't have a teenager Mm. I mean, she's got a step kid. Yeah, that might be worse, actually. But she lives with us full time. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, I was a bad step child because I was like, "You're not my dad." Well, so we haven't gotten that yet. Yeah. I mean, she's thirteen. She's just at that like, all of y'all suck. Like, yeah. How how dare you ask me a question? Yeah. Like I'm like, hey. I mean, everything's like, embarrassing. I mean, it's like, hey, how's the cereal? What? <laughs> Fine. Captain Crunch is my friend. Don't talk to me like I'm that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what are you watching? What? It's friends. <laughs> I love friends, by the way. Hey, uh, what are you doing today? What? Just school. Okay, so I have to tell you this really sad story, but when we're talking about kids and unfortunate events of how... I think people the like kids are so sensitive at weird ages yeah like when i was in not eighth grade or ninth grade i don't know but i had been with this friend i mean we had literally done everything together for so long and there was some stupid ass concert and my mom she was like 
if your mom doesn't let you go, my mom doesn't let me go. And my mom didn't let me go. And literally, we broke up. I like, remember she you wrote me this me, story. Like, like, it is, it is stuck with you forever. I've, 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 it's been I heartbreaking. I mean, I will tell you, and I'm not going to name her name, but it hurt my feelings so bad. Like, I literally kept a note. How, and then I hated my mother because of it for so long. And how old were you? Eighth. Eighth or ninth grade, I don't know. So like I mean, it was young. I mean, 14, was, 15. Yeah. And I literally, like, kept the note. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's thrown away now. But I hid the note. I put it in something so my mom wouldn't read it. Because I didn't want her to know. Because mm -hmm. she, then she would, like, start pressing or whatever. But it's just just an example of how, how like, little stupid things can make a kid crazy huge difference i mean like huge like you know kind of like i mean mindset and now, changing and now you have the phone and photos and like how people can god i'm so glad i, I mean grow up with that. i would be in trouble if I mean, but honestly everything worked out for the best i mean i ended up like and it usually does yes i mean like i end up switching a friend group i mean which i love i still like the people that i was you know but i ended up like closer to some other another group of girls and um but it was it was heartbreaking because i blame my mom and you're like your mom is always looking out for you because honestly right. when i think of the concert i don't know what the concert was and I don't even it was like hair band at the time and I'm pretty sure it was like rat or something stupid and I, oh I don't even think I really liked rat at the time <laughs> I don't I was, even know rat. I was like more poison and Motley Crue and Cinderella but I, whatever it was was not like top of the list so I didn't like really try hard you know what I mean <laughs> like to, to but I was You're just, like it's okay yeah and I'm pretty sure if your mom is saying well, I'll let you go. But, you know, then they probably know it's a pretty shitty band, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your mom is looking out for yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, your mom knows. I mean, and you hate to be that person that's like, your mom knows best, but they kind of do. In a I way, know, I mean, I mean, there are some moms that are dorks, but that may not be cool like us, and we're not moms, but hey. Stepmom. Hee. <laughs> I'm dog this mom. Is my stepmotherhood. Hashtag. <laughs> So, um, I really do think we should open some bubbly to celebrate your birthday. It is my 42nd. Okay. Well, I haven't. We have the, the champagne glasses and Amy was kind enough to bring some Sophia yes. Rosé bubbly. You know, I always love the packaging in this because it uh, we did take it off. It's like cellophane wrap. I know. It is. It's so... And the, and the little label is sparkly, which, you know, I'm, I'm a big I'm a big fan of Sophia. Yeah. And, um, so, and they, you know, they also have it in the cans with the little straws. Great for the Buffalo River or any river or pool. Or brunch when you're getting your nails done. Yeah. I have a tendency to do. I mean, so. I, I love the fact that places are doing, like, canned beverages. <gasps> oh! Okay, oh my gosh, this is reminding me of a show that I've been watching. My little hands, let me... Have go. you been watching this show on Hulu called The Great? I haven't watched it yet, but... Emily? I have it on my list. Okay, you guys, run to Hulu because it's fantastic. It is so... It has Elle Fanning. And she's adorable. Her. It kind of reminds me of... I, I love the color of it. I mean, it's, it's funny and, and dramatic. It's about... Um, Catherine, I don't know. I don't know. I'm drunk, I think. Well, we have been drinking. Catherine! Catherine the Great. There you go. Catherine the Great. Cheers. Cheers to Catherine the Bubbly. Great. Bubbly! But I'm serious, like, you should watch it. It's so good. I think it's been my favorite um, show so far. Okay. Well, so I haven't watched that yet, and you've also recommended... An Orthodox, which uh, I haven't watched yet. Fantastic. Have you watched Dead to Me? Yes. The second season? Yes. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I love Dead to Me. I love that I lo friendship between they the two have of them. They have great chemistry. They have such great chemistry. I was a little shocked by 
how they kind of push Judy in a lesbian thing, which I'm not opposed to. Which I, I think it kind of like puts her at more of, of a vulnerable, like like she can go wherever she finds love, which is kind of special. Right, right, right. I mean, I do like that. I do like the aspect of like where it's not necessarily the gender, it's the person. Where right, you love. and she's constantly looking yes. for that like, like reciprocation. Yes. And, and that's, and that's what that's her part character her. is mm -hmm. really cool about her. Yeah. And um, also, but, I love her haircut. Would it look I know. Good? Do you think that? I mean, like, I've really been no, thinking. No, hers has been, like, in my mind for you. Okay. So, Christina Applegate is, like, in full-fudge bitch phase. In she's this horrible. Thing. But I love the fact that she's, like, fuck. But she's horrible, but she knows but, yeah. who she is. And she's, like, this is who I am. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of crazy that, I mean, it's a crazy story. I mean, you know, but I love, I feel like this season they really worked on the, their whole bond and their dynamic. They which did. Which I liked a lot. They did. Okay. So, but every time uh, I see James Morrison. Oh my God. You know what I have to think? We saw him in Sundance. I know. We saw him in Sundance. At that bar. Yeah. Like he came in and we're like. I have oh, a picture of him. That's James Morrison. I do have a picture of him. <laughs> and so he's Sundance. He's super cute in person. Yeah. He's so cute. Super short. He looks exactly the same. Exactly. He is same. not aged a bit. Precious. Like, how Precious. many years was that? I mean, that was not that long ago, but I mean, like, he's like, you know how there's those I mean, people that. Maybe 10 years? Maybe. No, I don't think it's been that. Maybe. Fuck, I don't know. I don't, they, I don't even know what day it is. I don't know. I don't know, but we saw him come into that bar. Yeah. Like, oh my God, more yeah, more. and he, he, you know, sometimes there's those, like, preppy guys that, like, the, I'm not saying he's preppy, but he kind of has like a, he could totally play a more preppy kind yeah. of person. A prince mm -hmm. in whatever movie that was that he played a prince in. I don't know. And I don't but, believe you. <laughs> I forget what the name of it. Anyway, he has that kind of vibe and he always can have that vibe. You know, yeah. like he, which is an ageless, like. I know. He's just. Kind of thing, but he's adorable. And he plays it. I love, I love that. I know. And in this series, he plays two different characters. Yes. Which is pretty cool. We're not going to give it away or anything, but. But, but what I will say is that Dead to Me is a fantastic series. There's yeah. two seasons. Love it. Love it. I'm well, sorry my dog is playing ball back here behind us. She's very excited. You know, okay. Well, people that have never watched Dead to Me, when you have, if you've ever seen the, the trailer from the original, I do feel like it's a little misleading because I do feel like you think it's funnier than it will be. I mean, it's more, it's totally a dark it's, comedy. It's not, it's, it's not, not like pure comedy. Yeah, no, no, no. no. So I think sometimes, because I talk to people about every day about like what they've watched or movies and sometimes I'll hear, I'll, I'll give my advice on the shows and they'll say, oh, I started that, but it was really slow. And I'm like, no, it, I, I know you think it's like slow to start and not as funny as like the ad might have yeah, protect it because but, they like that's their job is yeah. to reel you in. Yeah, and it did. I mean, it's it's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I highly recommend it. I do too. I, I love, I love, love, love Dead to Me. So okay, I really think that we're excited the way things are going. Things are opening up. Things are opening. But be still cautious. Yes. Enjoy the time that you have social distancing with friends, but still be cautious. And drink lots because we like lots. And it's Emily's birthday, so have a Cheers. drink for her. And love you, mean it. Bye.